Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural. I'm Rebecca and we're gonna be reacting to a video today that has been very highly requested. Um, I know some of you have consistently commented that I should watch this video. So it's finally here. I love listening to what you want me to react to. Um, so I am watching the let's check if you are brainwashed about India video. Um, yeah, it has been highly requested, so we are finally watching it. Please, if you do have any other videos you want me to watch, and uh, please leave links in the comments below, and I will try and react to as many as possible. But this is a 12 minute video, so let's get started, and let's see if I am brainwashed about India. <laughs> Many of you have seen people of Indian origin in your country. How do you perceive them? And how do you perceive India? Many of you think of India as a country of poverty, slums, dirt, rapes and caste system. And many of you got introduced to India through the famous movie Slum Dog Millionaire. And then there are some of you who know India for its Bollywood and yoga. Well. It is not entirely your fault that you think this way, and there is no doubt that India does have its imperfections, but India is definitely not what we are shown in our countries. Like many of you, I was also a victim of the mainstream media in my country until I ended up living in India and started to keenly observe this country. And of course, to understand India and its mechanism, one really needs to have fine-tuned senses. Looks Next so time you see Indians in your country, remember that their country is being transformed into something like this. However, you are mostly shown only that. Yeah. And of course, many of you were never told that for many years India has been one of the fastest growing major economies of the world. Are you worried that Indians are stealing your jobs in your countries? No. no. You are not fully informed. Perhaps you do not know that Indians are also providing thousands of jobs in your country and they are doing it in different parts of the world. There are more than 800 Indian companies in the UK which employ around 110,000 people. Wow. In the USA, Indians owned firms employ more than 600,000 employees. What? Have you noticed that when the media in the West talks about rapes in India, they rarely talk about the rape rate statistics and probably it is because India is nowhere close to the western countries in rape rate. Yes, Why? I am aware that while talking about rape, one must consider things like underreporting, marital rape, homosexual rape, false filing, law of rape, conviction rates and many other factors. And that is why I sincerely recommend you to dig a bit deep into this and analyze where your own country stands before you become a victim of the mainstream or fake stream media. By the way, were you also told that the so-called developed countries do not only have a much higher rape rate, but also their citizens travel abroad to rape the citizens of poor countries? What? Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand are some of the main sources of international child sex tourists who perform sex crimes in other countries. Were you also told that many Western women travel abroad to enjoy female sex tourism? And it is difficult to believe that the boys who are hired by these rich women are in some cases not underage. India has always been a multicultural society and yes, in one way or another, Discrimination may exist in India too, but wait, which country is crime-free? Is your country crime-free? Is there no discrimination in your country? Mm -hmm. India is a country where its minorities are allowed to thrive and grow in numbers and also in percentage. India is a country where many Dharma traditions like Jainism, Sikhism, Buddhism and Hinduism were born and the people of India have even accommodated the ideologies and religions that did not originate from their own land. When I first heard of Indian caste system in my country through our media, it was not even mentioned that in India not only the minorities but also the members 
from those societies which are also known as low caste end up becoming presidents, vice presidents, prime ministers and chief ministers. Has the media in your country told you about this when they talked about Indian caste system to you? Nope. Has the media in your country also mentioned that India has already had a female president and a female prime minister? Nope. I know that in many so-called developed countries, many low-skilled immigrants from poor countries are purposely and temporarily brought to do low-class and dirty jobs. These poor people are kept in substandard conditions and after the job is finished, they are sent back to their own countries. The developed countries make the most of their strong currencies and their own citizens shy away from doing small jobs. Well, these developed countries are so smart that they perform oppression on the humans that they import and then later very cleverly they dispose them. Can we call it exploitation too? Indians are extremely self-critical and they are genuinely concerned about their problems. They do have the intentions to fix their problems and they do not shy away from talking loud against their democratically chosen governments. But you must remember that when Indians talk loud about their problems, it does not mean that they want to replace India for anything else. And it must be pointed out that Indian media has not really started ridiculing the Western countries yet, even though many Western countries love to present themselves as some kind of role models. These Western countries continue to forget that they can also easily be ridiculed for their wealth inequality, crimes, intolerance, rapes, poverty, and even hunger. Perhaps Indians are more interested in self-correction than ridiculing others. For sure, Indians know very well that tragedy is not a competition. Indians are not only providing jobs around the world, they are even feeding many hungry and poor outside India by their philanthropic work through their temples and gurudwaras. And very importantly, they are not expecting anyone to embrace Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism or Hinduism. There is no doubt that India does need to improve its modern waste management infrastructure as many of its streets continue to look dirty even though an average Indian produces far lesser waste than an average American or European. Wow. Also, the per capita emissions from India are so low in comparison to the USA or China. And Indians are nowhere close to the West when it comes to historical emissions. For all these years, you are told about the poor sanitation of India. But you are never told that Indians were also the pioneers in ancient sanitation system long before the Western countries got civilized. But of wow. course, it shouldn't matter today. Even after 70 years of its independence, India is still not open defecation free. The government of India is running some massive scheme to build millions of toilets and only time will tell if that is going to be enough or not. Not many people know that when it comes to defecation, some citizens in the Western countries have a strange addiction or rather a disorder. And this is where a potential exchange can take place between India and the West. India can bring the latest sanitation system techniques from the West and the West can benefit from the auditing yoga from India that can help those Western citizens who are suffering from such disorders or addictions. But of course, it can only happen if the Western societies are brave enough to address their embarrassing problems and not just sweep them under the rug, as it is very well known that such kind of disorders and addictions have been reflecting in the Western adult film industry as well. Not many people know that India has nuclear weapons and it is said that India has the fourth strongest military in the world. Oh, wow. India does not believe in muscle flexing like China or the USA and neither it believes in expansionism. And yes, 
India is not a world leader in everything. It's not a world leader in earning money by selling weapons. It stands nowhere when it comes to earning money by selling crude oil. However, its space agency ISRO does earn money by sending satellites in space for a very cheap price, fulfilling the satellite dreams of poor countries and also by helping the advanced countries which want to save money. Wow, I didn't know that. India is not a leader in the porn industry and neither is a top destination for sex tourism. Mostly, Indians are just very simple and kind-hearted people and only some of them know that their land was the richest in the world for thousands of years and it was gradually pushed into poverty as it was exploited, looted and colonized by its invaders and colonizers. And these unfortunate victims who have just tasted their independence after centuries of oppression and atrocities are finally rebuilding their country in an extremely oh, democratic it. environment that may slow down things a bit for them, but at least their system attempts to involve everyone in the rebuilding of their nation. The good news is that India's rise is unlikely to cause any country a demographic trouble, as India's dharmic institutions are not interested to convert you from your religions. Not just that, we are not really going to face any brown supremacy, even though Indians themselves come in all skin colors and features. It is also highly unlikely that Indians will hate you, even though many of you may have developed prejudices against them because of the mainstream media houses, which for some special reasons are overplaying and sensationalizing their problems. It's true. Indians are gentle, accommodating, compassionate, hospitable, and yes, they do not have a fake smile. Their smiles are still very real. Aww. And most importantly, they are forgiving. Look how they even welcome the people from the land of their ex-colonizers in their country, even today. Before you comment on India, remember that the countries which were never colonized will not easily understand what it means to suffer from a post-colonial identity crisis. India may have its imperfections and in this process of rebuilding it will make its share of mistakes and it will learn from them. Perhaps we also need to learn how to build a relation with Indians on equal terms, with mutual respect, without feeling superior or inferior, while focusing a bit more on ourselves to address our own embarrassing problems. See you again. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I know that in my country, in the UK, there is a an issue with the way that some people see Indians and the Indian culture, it became v much more apparent when we were, um, what was it, doing the whole Brexit campaign, which I wanted to stay in the EU. I know you're not technically part of the EU, but like a lot of nasty things were said about people stealing jobs from, from British people and people coming from overseas and taking homes when they don't belong here and stuff and it's not something I believe I just I want to clarify that um but the media in my country definitely perceives not just Indians but like other cultures that aren't like ours in a much not so nice way and it's not it's not good it's i don't know why they do it they are obviously very prejudiced and i mean it's not all like newspaper outlets and media outlets but there is definitely a few that i could name that would have at some point written something horrible in regards to your culture and your country and it's not on and people should be educated i fully believe that and i feel like with me doing these these videos, these reactions, I learned so much 
and I'm so thankful that I'm able to react to these videos and share the knowledge that I'm learning with with my friends in in my country with my family in my country because people need to know that what the media is showing us like people like me in my country and in, in America and other large nations it's it's not true well there might be little bits of it that is true but it's not the whole country like yes we were definitely taught about how dirty india can be how you have like slums and like people living on the streets and it's just very unclean but we weren't ever taught about firstly we weren't taught about the colonization i talked about that in a previous video where i reacted to um a speech given you can go check out the vi that video if you want um after you watch this we weren't talk about, told about colonisation at school. We weren't taught anything. We were taught about religions, um, but not specifically about countries in depth. Um, what we were told were negative things. And we were never told that because we colonised India as a country that you then, you know, lost out on so much money and so much growth in your economy and you're only just getting all that economy back and growing and to see like there was a clip and I, I think I reacted like oh my gosh I didn't realise that India could look like that and there was like loads of tall buildings and it looked very modern and when we don't see that side of India we just see the dirty side the slums the the dirty streets like we we're not told about the modernization of your country and how you are growing and the reason that you grew at such a slow rate was because of my country and yeah the government keeps it quiet because they're obviously ashamed um but i'm really grateful that i you know that people on who watch these videos comment for me to react to videos like this where i can learn so much more than i do from reacting to trailers which is obviously just a bit fun but when i react to stuff that is so informative for me it really changes my perspective and I hope it can change other people's perspectives because we need to change opinions of people. There are some horrible thoughts out there of people in the world and they need to be changed and they need to be educated. That is the main issue. And I feel like it's easy for people, it's so easy for people to access videos like this because you can just type in India, what does India look like now? What did India look like 200 years ago sort of thing? But because we're not learning about it in schools and stuff, there's no real need for people to do that if it makes sense. If that makes sense, like, how do I explain it better? <laughs> um, because no one's like telling us we have to educate ourselves on this topic, we don't know. And the only things we do know is what we see in the media, which is, negative things and that's just wrong it's so wrong it shouldn't be like that <sighs> this really annoyed me like i've known for a very long time that my that in my country our media sources are very corrupt in more ways than one um and when i was younger i think when you are younger you know you're much more influenced by things you see and what you read um, and when I was younger I definitely had been taught and I definitely thought oh yeah India must be quite a dirty place because of all these pictures that I've seen but it's not and it's things like this that just prove me wrong and prove everybody else wrong and you know what share this video with somebody and get them educated because we need to educate each other I just I can't get over it there's just so much that we're not taught and it's just <sighs> all the facts and figures that um uh, carolina 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 gave in this video were so like f well like factual yeah like it just shows that what we're being taught is just wrong and i uh, i just it's annoying that we're not being taught the things correctly yeah I don't, it's just it's, yeah <laughs> i'm kind of lost for words at the moment because 
we should like people like me should know more about this um i wouldn't say i was necessarily brainwashed from the beginning but there was definitely things that i was not educated on and after watching this video and reacting to other videos that were very informative about india and the indian culture i am much more educated in your way of life which is incredible and i'm proud to say that i have learned so much from doing these videos um yeah <laughs> and hopefully it continues if you have any you know educational videos that i can watch please leave them in the comments below and i can react to them as well and yeah if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share this video with someone who needs to be educated and i will see you very soon for another video bye